I came across this story you know, that I read somewhere, that there was a, a business executive who was going through a lot of difficulty in his uh, company, uh, with his company. It, it was really going through a lot of difficult uh, stage. And at that time, you know, it's like he's thinking about how can I file in chapter 11 and all those things and like, you know, how can we, how can I get out of this situation, uh, so forth and so on. So he, he went to a park and he was sitting on a park bench with his face down in his hands and sitting there. And then an old man came. A old person came and sat next to him and asked him like, Looks like you have you have trouble. You have some problem here. Maybe I can help. And so he poured all his trouble on him, told him what was going on, <clears throat> and and then the the, the older person <coughs> listened and and talked to him. And then at the end, he gave him a he wrote a check and gave it to him. And then just turned around and left. So that you know. Oh, sorry. He said, like, okay, maybe this can help you. And in one year, you can come back to the same spot and you can return the money. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I want to tell you which bench. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving that for myself. <clears throat> uh, and so at that time, then he left. And he, he was really feeling, and he looked at the check and it was for $500,000. Okay, $500,000, not rupees. <laughs> $500,000, so he left, and then he, he got this really uh, great inspiration from that, and then he started to work on his company, and he, he decided not to cash that check yet. You know, he still has that as a cushion or you know, support. And he put that in a safety deposit uh, box. And then he started working on his company and he turned around his company. And it went very well, company came back, the clients came back and everything, company was really moving forward. And then exactly one year after, he took the check and went back to the park bench. And, he, and sure enough, he found the, the person sitting there on park bench. And so before he could say anything or give the check back, there was a nurse running around and said, oh, finally I found you. <laughs> and he, I found you. And he, she told the guy, the business executive, that I hope he wasn't <laughs> bothering you. You know the check, sorry, I forgot to teach us. <laughs> the check was signed by John D. Rockefeller. <laughs> So she found, the nurse found him and then told the guy, I hope he wasn't bothering you. And then she said like, you know, he's always running away from his rest home. Always running away from his rest home and telling everybody that he's a Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So my teacher, his instructions and inspiration was like that. For me, you know, it was a great support, great inspiration, even though I had to work on myself. 